Hello students, welcome back. Welcome back to my biology online classes. In my previous lectures, I have already, already discussed with you about the detailed structure of DNA, the famous Watson and Crick model, etc. 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 Today, my discussion topic is about properties of DNA. Uh, let's concentrate about the properties of DNA. DNA replication as DNA can replicate perfectly so equal distribution of DNA is possible from mother cells to daughter cells this is known as autocatalytic characters of DNA to produce extra carbon copy or replica it is known as a replication so DNA by the process of replication can make its own copy. The next point DNA to RNA by the process of transcription. DNA can produce RNA by a process it's known as a transcription. It is called heterocatalytic property of DNA. The next point Generally, DNA is highly stable. DNA is known as genetic material. It carries hereditary unit from generation to generation. Only in case of RNA, RNA acts as genetic material. In all cells from prokaryotic to eukaryotic, DNA is the principal constituents of chromosomes. If chromosomes are chemically analyzed, then, then they are found to contain DNA, DNA protein and small amount of RNA. When stained with fuel gain stain, DNA appears purple in color. Semi-conservative mode of replication. DNA performs semi-conservative mode of replication. That means during replication, each parental chain gives rise to a new chain and each new chain rolls around the coils of an old chain and this way they pass to daughter cell. This phenomenon is known as semi-conservative replication. The next point, DNA contain only four alphabet A, T, G and C. As all of we know, by permutation and combination of these four, they can produce large number of coded words in the form of triplet codes. Through this code, DNA passes its information to mRNA and mRNA helps in protein synthesis, which again perform most important biological reactions. So, it's all about the properties of DNA. After discussing the general properties of DNA, now I am going to discuss with you about the physical and chemical properties of DNA. Point number one point is about structural changes. So, what is structural changes of DNA? Under high salt concentrations and less humidity, DNA changes its shape and size. But these changes referred to as A DNA, B DNA, Z DNA, which I have already discussed in my previous lecture. So please follow that lecture. You will get sufficient information from that. Next point: UV ray absorption. UV means all of you know ultraviolet ray. DNA, RNA, and protein can absorb different wavelength of ultraviolet ray. DNA can absorb UV rays of 2600 angstrom or 260 nanometer. Separate chain can absorb UV rays of more wavelength. The absorption pattern of UV rays depends on the presence of increased number of bases like guanine and cytosine. Relative activity of 
म्यूटेशन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड अलोंग विथ एक्स एक्सिस एंड वाई एक्सिस फॉर इट एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग इज कोडेड different angles from this point the graph will be like that and this figure indicates figure description absorption of various wavelengths of uv by d the next point is denaturation it is now known that dna is double helix and the winding of two chains are antipatic if the double helix is treated with strong alkali is or with high temperature that chains unwind and separate. this process of the separation of chains is known as denaturation p dot e and colleagues in 1959 were able to separate dna chain by applying heat and the process is known as melting of dna the single chain as i have already discussed here the single chain absorb more wavelength can absorb uv rays of greater length and this change of absorption quality is known as hyperchromic shift very much important and this hyper and hyperchromic shift is in your syllabus again by determining the melting temperature or tm which is known as tm value dna hybridization can be done and the nature of complementary dna is determined then the next point is renaturation renaturation the process in which two separated dna chain form a dna double helix again it is known as renaturation by lowering the temperature at 25 degree or below rt breaking and de cone in 1970 allowed the other process to be continued longer and obtained renatured dna and determine its cot value and on the basis of this properties renaturation kinetics a uh, quart curve it will be discussed in detail later in my lectures the next point is buoyant density dna has buoyant density which is equal to buoyant density of some chemical like cesium chloride these properties dna can be mixed with cesium chloride in solution and then be separated by centrifugation the next point is ionic induction of dna so what is ionic induction of dna as dna is acidic due to presence of phosphate group so dna is negatively charged mind this point very well this is this one is very important point due to presence of phosphate group due to presence of phosphate group dna is acidic in nature and negatively charged so during gel electrophoresis dna can move from negative to positive it moves toward it moves towards anode moves towards anode towards positive side by this process dna of different weights are separated so it's all about the physical and chemical properties of dna